everybody, this is Mr. Walsh, and I'd like to welcome you to our first day of distance learning in the senior school. Today, what we'd like to do is make sure that you check in to each one of your teacher's Google Classroom pages. We've already had two classes come through my doors, and uh, these doors will be a little bit different right now. We're starting from a virtual world. And... I thought that I would show you my uh, presentation and talk you through it a little bit, so then hopefully make it a little bit easier for you because I know that mechanisms is a, an odd one. If you have questions when I pause, then you can just type them into the um, chat function and then I'll just address the questions one by one and then I'll call on you, kind of call on you and you can unmute and then ask your question verbally if it doesn't really make sense via chat. What I wanted to focus on today was narrative structure and I just kind of wanted to walk through like three different ways of talking about Atwood's structuring of the novel and give you sort of three terms that you can use to think about it, because I think all of them apply. We'll be able to give you a little bit of an insight on, uh, well, on the disease of uh, the coronavirus, which is circulating and which makes us all homebound at the moment. And um, yeah, so maybe I thought we're going to start off with um, Dr. Nixa telling us a little bit about, you know, his impressions, his insights. and. Um, Hi students, I wanted to share a quick message with you that the teachers and I were so impressed with how well you're doing and how well you've adjusted to this new learning environment. You guys are doing great. So next week you'll work on your summative and that's going to be a letter between two characters about their relationship. So you'll need your bridge to Terabithia. If you do not have your bridge to Terabithia, there is a link to a free online copy and I will put that in our classroom. Hi guys, today we will be drawing the human body. I'm really excited to be teaching you uh, through this video tutorial. So then you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to brainstorm about the people in your life who have had an effect on you. It could be friends, family, or other people. So you can create a mind map, a cartoon, a design. Everybody. My name is Mr. Dolish. I certainly hope all the family members, and students, teachers, and faculties are well, healthy, and safe during these times. We started our DLP last week, and part of the DLP is taking a break and trying to challenge yourself. I'm just going to give you a few handy tips on the overarm throw. If I am throwing this way, my body should be side on. I have my aiming arm up. Well, it's day 13 for me inside my house, and uh, I'm starting to find it a little bit challenging. I think I got this. I know how this works, so here it goes. <laughs> hey, not bad for my first hey, try. Hey, Dad, how do you like that tune? Oh, Joe, you blew my gig. We've got planning for fun on the agenda today, so uh, hopefully you can spend some time with family members doing something to enjoy. Mm -hmm. 